Amen. All right, I got some letters. I want to spar just a little bit. Amen. Just a little bit. I want to get off my speed bag and get off the treadmill. And let's go to the body bag now and see how many ribs we can crack with scripture. Amen. All right, Dan, the man, come on. Uh, this letter comes from Johnson City, Tennessee. Yes, come on, brother. Give him some more juice. This letter comes from Johnson City, Tennessee. Yes. It says, Pastor Jennings, being that I trust in your words as a man of God, I would like to get a better understanding of why the church is so one-sided. Do you actually try and recruit only black people, or do you hold some sort of belief that keeps us out, this person says? I ask you this out of my calling from God, so please respond when you get a minute. I got more than a minute. Amen. Oh, yeah. First and foremost, I say like Brother Paul, mm -hmm. do I now persuade men, oh God? Oh God. I don't run around recruiting nobody. No. I don't do like these other organizations. You know, they send folks to your house to recruit you, trying to gather members. I have never been to no one trying to recruit them. That's right. That's right. Uh, you see black folk, we have black, we have white, we have brown, we have yellow. That's right. We have no special time to target a race. No, mine house. Listen, let me show you what God said. In the book of Isaiah chapter 56 and at verse seven. The Lord said. Mine house. My house. Shall be called an house of prayer. For who? For all people. So my white brother, I don't care if you're black as midnight, mm -hmm. white as frosty the snowman. That's right. Yellow as a stick of butter, mm -hmm. clear as glass, it doesn't matter. No. We don't believe in a black church. No. Oh, no. We don't believe in a white church. That's right. We believe simply in the church. The church. That's right. That's right. So because you see a whole lot of blacks, mm -hmm. what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? If you see a whole lot of white, would you still write me? Amen. I don't care what color they are. That's right. If you're black, I thank God for you. That's right. If you're white, mm -hmm. I thank God for you. Amen. If you're yellow, mm -hmm. I thank God for you. If you're brown, stay in town. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's right. So we're not hung up on race here. I perceive that God is Tennessee, no respect of Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So if you say you asked me this because of a calling that God gave you, if God called you mm -hmm. and you have the same spirit that I have, right. you would not have wrote me such a foolish question. That's right. Bible said the mountain of the Lord house shall be established in the top of the mountain. That's right. And shall be exalted above the hill. And how much? All nations. All nations. All nations shall. If a white man it. come in here, fine. I'm not impressed. No. No. If a black man come in here, fine. I'm not impressed. That's right. If a yellow man come in here, fine. I'm not impressed by no race. Amen. That's right. Because if that black man don't obey God, to hell that black man is going. Amen. If the white man don't obey God, to hell that white man is going. Right. If the yellow man don't obey God, to hell that yellow man is going. That's right. So here you have a preacher that's not phased. Amen. By nobody color. Nobody. I don't feel prestigious no. because another color is around me. That's right. I don't feel warm and mm. happy. No. I don't care what color you are. No. You don't obey God, Tennessee. Amen. You're going to go to hell with your calling. That's right. All right. Next letter. Go ahead. 